everyone, and welcome to tonight's presentation. We are live in Boston at the Bruins Arena. Thanks for tuning in to the NHL. I am Bob Cole, and with me is Harry Neal here on the 2K Sports Network. The Boston Bruins won two successive it's Stanley Cups in the early 70s, fans. and they're looking to Let's tie that get again. Wild for your Boston the Bruins. Won by the they clear the puck. When you talk about acceleration, you think this guy's going at top speed. And all of a sudden, he shifts into another gear and blows right by his opponent. The linesman will start the action to the goalie's left. The Hurricanes have possession of the puck. The puck now to the right wing. And now Carolina with it across the blue line. Now Boston's got it. Bergeron dishes the puck center ice. There it is, Boston on the rush. And he makes the save. He stops him on the breakaway. Bergeron goes behind the net. He feeds it up the left side. He's got it in the neutral zone. Oh, and here's Carolina with a breakaway. One of the most dramatic moments in hockey. A save on a breakaway. And he got that one with his left pad. Oh, and here's Boston with a breakaway. He scores! Jams it into the net, and they jump out on top here. one nothing in the first period. And it goes off the goaltender and ends up in the net for a goal. I know this happens from time to time, Harry, but that fact certainly can't help the goalie now. Definitely not. Bob, in fact, looking at this replay, you can actually see the look of horror when he realizes that the puck hit him and still went in. There's a little period of time between that little tap of the puck and the signal for a goal. And that period of time feels like forever to the goalie. And I'm sure it's accompanied by a sinking feeling in the pit of your stomach as well. Here comes the faceoff to start the action again. The Bruins are excited about that one here in the first period. When you get the go-ahead goal up on the board, that's a real good feeling. A lot of times when you have a guy on your side with this much offensive talent, you can really breathe a sigh of relief because you know he's going to put up some numbers game in and game out. Ward in net, bracing himself for the faceoff. The Bruins control the faceoff. They are up by one in front of their home crowd. The puck now goes center, and here come the Hurricanes. He scores, and they come back right away to tie this game. Lots of action here early in the first period tonight. Great assists on the outlet pass. And we're ready for the faceoff. The Hurricanes have come right back and tied this one up with that goal. And there's a lot of hockey left to play. We've got a fresh game here in the first period. Murray holds the puck at center ice. It's a goal! And they get the go-ahead goal here in the first period. Early. This game is starting out to be a fast-paced one. Look at this goal on the replay, Bob. You can see the goalie getting into the butterfly position. That's been known to stop a lot of shots, but not on this attack, Harry. That was just a total collapse on the part of the defense. It's time to get this game going again. Here's the drop of the puck. The Bruins have the one goal lead now here in the first period of hockey. They've got a chance now to expand that lead. They are right where they wanted to be. Oh, and a chance for Carolina now. Chara gets possession of the puck in the neutral zone. And here's a chance. He stops him, shuts him down on that breakaway. It goes to the defenseman. Adams in the neutral zone. And oh, here they go. The Hurricanes on the rush. From Adams. Toivonen makes the save. His team's in a one-goal lead right now. Now across the red line. Oh, and here's Boston with a breakaway. You have to get the puck in the air on a breakaway. He did not on that one. As a result, a good left pad save by the goalie. Chara breaks it up with the poke chip. That shot off the left pad. Donovan has the puck through the zone. Oh, and there they go, the Bruins in the rush. He scores! That gives them the two-goal lead here in the first period. 
highlight this play in traffic. Take a look at the replay of the wrist shot goal. He knew that trouble was going to arrive sooner or later, and he just got the shot off before anybody got there defensively. And that's why the wrist shot came into existence, Harry. We forget olden times, that's where most of the shots were taken. We don't see many nowadays, but when we do, the wrist shot is tailor-made. And the face-offs coming up. The Bruins, Bruins are putting goal. some distance between themselves Sorry, and their opponents early here tonight. That gives them a two-goal lead. Boy, you tell me that this didn't shake him up. He hit him so hard, he knocked him down. Oh, and there they go, the Bruins in the rush. And the Hurt Games regain possession. Taken across the red line by Stahl. Oh, and the dive to the ice worked. He was able to break up the play. And Boston has the puck. Defensive zone. Penalty called. Play continues until the puck switches hands. Savard interferes on the play and gets the penalty. Let's check the replay and see if he was called for interference. Oh, yeah. You can see that he was trying to get away with something there. Well, he's away, all right. He's away across the rink in the penalty box. Face off will be at the left of the net as the players get ready. Listen to these fans. They're cheering their team on. It's not like two is enough. They want to make sure these guys stay sharp. Harry, they want that one more to put it away. To the point. Stern, both checks. Over to Cole. The puck to the left wing. Oberlein has the puck. Stern with a terrific puck check. It's shot again. And it's handled by Williams. Puck over to the right wing. Stall in control of the puck. Over to Coverle from Williams. From Stewart to Sturm. And now Boston with it across the blue line. Bob, look at the location of the right pad. It was right there to stop this wrist shot. Stewart has possession along the boards. It's sent up the left side. He takes it through the zone. Back to the point. He scores! And now they only trail by one here in the first period. They saw it coming up, ready to get the action started. The Hurricanes are behind by just a goal now. We're in the first period here, and we've already witnessed some great scoring chances that have been capitalized on. We could have a bit of a seesaw going on with this one. Brenda Moore over to Whitney. From Whitney, over to Stillman. Oh, and here come the Hurricanes. You have to love the way this guy hits. He finds his target, zeroes in, and finishes him off. From Savard. Savard cannot convert the shot attempt. He passes it up the center. Here come the Hurricanes with a chance. And you can see the proud owner of this hockey team watching on with his fans here from the skybox. It's a great sport for the entire family, Harry. Everyone having a great time here tonight. They're ready for the faceoff. And Carolina wins the faceoff. The puck is taken across the blue line by Commodore. And it's broken up. What a nice poke check. Savard has the puck through the zone. Down under two minutes now. A minute 45 on the game clock. At center ice, the linesman blows the whistle for offside. It's almost like this guy says, you want to beat me high in the glove side? It's me against you, big fella. You know what I'm going to do? Win nine out of ten. And you know what? He does with that great glove hand. And it's picked up by Boston. The shot. Someone's got to wake up in front of this goaltender. He just made a terrific save. If he doesn't make it, they're down by two, and we are still in the first frame. The shot gets deflected off the post. 20 seconds remaining. It's sent back to the point. This guy is Mr. Snowfence on this breakaway. A great stop with his right pad. That's the end of the period, and the score after one is three to two. It's period number two, and they're getting ready to drop the puck. And now Carolina, center ice. And they're attacking, looking for a chance. Toivonen stops that shot, heading for the low right side. And they've got a three-on-two chance here. Sturm hits that puck out. Nobody to receive. It goes over to the right side. Kara hits him at center ice. Toivonen saves it. His pad helping him to stop it. And they get the puck ahead, trying to get a chance here. Gets it over to the left wing. Ward with a terrific save using his stick. He was in the stand-up position. All he needed was his goal stick on this one. Ward, his team down by one. 
one makes the smart call and covers the puck. This guy is a good two-way player, and sometimes I think he's a good three-way player. He's good offensively, he's good defensively, and he's a good leader. The Bruins control the faceoff. They are up by one in front of their home crowd. The defender blocks it. Ward covers it up. He just doesn't want to take any chances. If they had gold glove awards in hockey, this guy's catching glove would win it. He just robs guys nightly high to the glove side. The Hurricanes with the puck off the faceoff. They're down one goal. Hedekin has it at center ice. Oh, and there they go. The Bruins in the rush. It's passed to the point. Stillman has it at center ice. Toivonen holds on for the save and keeps the one goal lead. Carolina is able to grab it. Tanabe brings the puck up through the zone. He decides to hold on to the puck. Now this save we're about to see is simply good technique. Have a look at it. The keeper is set and ready on this one, Harry. He knows where the puck is. He knows where the players are on the ice. And he uses his stick well to defend against the shot. Yeah, he's locked right in. This is a solid play on the part of the goaltender to deny them a goal. They've got a three-on-two chance here. He gets poke checked. And center ice picked up by Boston. He controls the puck along the boards. Another shot. Ward makes the stop, keeping the deficit at just one. That's he scores, and that will get this game knotted here in the second. The skaters look ready in that big circle. The Hurricanes have got themselves back to an even Stephen hockey game here in the second with that last goal. Toivonen stops it coming from the right side. Toivonen and a big save. Murray brings it over the red line. He has it along the boards and hits the defender. And oh, here they go. The Hurricanes on the rush. Gets the puck away with that poke check. Sturm with the puck held at center. Oh, and here's Boston with a breakaway. Oh, the puck hits the post. Ward with a nice save. He had the stick ready in that shaft down position. Beautiful. What a nifty poke check, Bob. Oh, and a chance for Carolina now. Mara brings it over the blue line. It's shot. Great speed and use of the stick. They thought they had a goal on that play. The Bruins let go of the lead they had after the first period and have been tied up here about midway through the second period of play. Harry, you've got the numbers. How are the stats looking? It's a good thing the game is tied up right now because they could stand to improve their effort a bit on faceoffs. Winning more draws will only boost their confidence as the game winds down. Ward protecting the left side of the net. The Hurricanes with the puck off the faceoff. Game is tied. Bob, great poke check there to break up that play. Ward sits on the puck. And this faceoff will be to the goalie's left. The Bruins win the draw. Tied. He scores! And they now have the one goal lead. Will that go ahead goal here in the second period? Take a look at this one timer on the replay. It was perfectly placed, and he just ripped into it. I'm not sure he even had his head up, but he ended up with it in the five hole. And that's why the adage in hockey is let that shot fly. You never know if you get it off, you may find a little daylight. He did. Yeah, sometimes it's not about where it is, just how hard it is. And we've got the faceoff coming up. They take it across the red line. Oh, and a chance Bruins for Carolina goal. now. It's shot. Scored by. The Bruins have pulled ahead here in the second period. They get that go-ahead goal at a crucial time. And the Hurricanes touch up. Icing is the call. Toivonen in net, ready for the face-off to his left. It's shot. Makes the save. The shot off the pads. It's shot. Whitney getting position. And the Bruins pick it up. Bergeron with it now. Two on two. Bergeron, Ward with the stick save. A goalie saying, I want my body in front of this shot. And he got it right where he wanted it, in the body, off the wrister. And a shot. Man, this is tremendous. What a real important save at this time in the hockey game. Up 
by a goal near the end of the second period. They want to take this lead into the third period. He scores! And they now have a two-goal lead with that goal here in the second period. Off the glove and in. He reached out to make the catch, but it just didn't happen. And the puck sneaks in. Bob, he thought he had that one. You can see it in his eyes just before they became huge with the realization he didn't actually make the catch. And the result? A goal. And it's time to get the action skirted up again. The Bruins go ahead two goals now for that last conversion. Two goal lead, second period. Not a bad game they've played here tonight. And it deflects off the glass. Haberle puts the puck out center. And he's got it through the zone. Broken up by Chara. And the Bruins pick it up. Has it at center ice. Ward relays the puck back to the defenseman. He shoots. Ward with the blocker save. Coberle clears it out. Taken across the red line by Chara. The centering pass is made. Primo has it in the corner. Sent back to the point. And he's got it in the neutral zone. Oh, baby, the Hurricanes with a breakaway. Bob, the pressure is mounting for the shooters. If they go into the dressing room at the end of two, still down by two, they've got a tall mountain to climb in the third period. Bob Wesley to Stillen. Two men back and the goalie. Fired. Oh, and there they go, the Bruins in a rush. Boston back into the zone. And that's the end of the second period. And the score is 5-3. to three. The Bruins win the faceoff in the lead, up by two goals here. He scores! They're now up three. But we've got a pretty big chunk of time left here in the third. It's a good place to be, but don't figure things are over just yet. All right, let's see the rush in slow motion in this replay. It resulted in a beautiful low shot. The goalie was preparing in the crouch, but he didn't have enough low part of the net taken away. He didn't, and on the rush, you don't know where the shot's ultimately going to be coming from. Tough luck that time. The Bruins are putting this game away here tonight with that last goal. Three goal lead. Third period. Looks like a win coming up for these guys. He centers the piece. Scores! He's got three tonight, folks. And the fans here at home are letting him know that they are keeping track of those goals tonight. And next week, you'll be able to buy these hats at half price at the local sports stores. Great tradition in the National Hockey League. And that's exactly what happens. Trick of the hats on the ice. Here we go with another draw down there on the ice. Bergeron carries it past the red line, and he shoots. And the top left corner was taken away by Grant. Over to the right wing. Stall with the puck at center ice. Stewart poke checks. The Bruins have all but put this game away. You don't see very many four-goal leads in the third period in the NHL. Well, that last goal has put them in that position tonight. But the other guys, it has been a depression party on the bench. That was an awesome play to poke the puck away, especially during a good scoring opportunity on that shot. Uh-oh, it's a knockdown in the neutral zone. What a monstrous shoulder check. Foley, he already has three goals in this game, and he's not done yet. He's looking for his fourth, but he couldn't get it on that shot. What a nifty poke check, Bob. He's got it through the zone. Breaks it up. And along the boards, they get off another one. Toivonen makes a nice pad save. Boys skating with the puck in the neutral zone. Oh, and there they go, the Bruins in the rush. And Graham makes a pad save on that wrist shot. Commodore takes that puck through the zone. And here come the Bruins. Oh, and here come the Bruins. They deflect the shot. Over to the left wing. Cole skating with it. They've got a two-on-two -two chance. Mara. Good play to break it up. And in the neutral zone. Here they come. Odd man rush. Three on two. And a save by Graham. They blow the whistle as he covers the puck. The Hurricanes have attempted 19 total shots on goal. And now we're going to have a face-off to the left side of the net. 
And Carolina has the puck defensive zone. From Whitney, over to Brindamore. Oh, and a chance for Carolina now. To Stillen. From Whitney. Only when would you like to be so big that you fill the entire net post to post when you're facing a point-blank shooter? He got that one with his body. The Bruins clear it out of their zone. Tabardovsky skating with it now in his own. Hope checked away by Mara Brindamore. Center ice. And oh, here they go, the Hurricanes. He scores, and that's what you call saving some pride. Something to lessen the pain of a four-goal deficit. That's now three. The Hurricanes have brought the score differential down to three. The trouble now is they battle not only the opponent, but the clock here in the third period. Graham camps out of the left side of the goal. of the third period. The faceoff taken by the Hurricanes. The Hurricanes have been flat all game long. They gave up the lead early and still have a sizable deficit to overcome if they want to win this one. Stranger things have happened, though, Harry. They may be down, but you can tell they've not given up yet. Their perseverance and output on defense tonight is something to be admired. Even if the final score does not end up in their favor, they can at least be proud of their effort. It's broken up. Sit to the left wing. And at center ice. Shoots! I love how he just eyed the shooter and threw up his right pad to block that shot. What a stop. Oh, and here come the Bruins. Oh, and Graham stops it, going low left side. Nothing doing there. He brings the puck through the zone. Taken into the zone by Boston. He decides to center the puck. Saves it with a stick. Stillman has the puck through the zone. The puck is directed out center, and here's a three-on-two opportunity. He scores! That's number two for him tonight. He's got the shooting touch, folks. One more, and it's the hat trick. This one caught the bottom right. Take a look at the replay, a one-timer. Now, you can't overpower the puck on a one-timer, and he just nailed it right in the wheelhouse. I don't think the goalie thought they could get a shot directed over there to that right side the way they did, and he kind of played it in the middle. And we're going to start up action again. Across the red line, the Bruins have all but sealed off the victory here tonight with that goal. You don't see a lot of four-goal comebacks, and I doubt we're going to see one tonight. Boston grabs it. Jemnov uses his stick. Pedican holding the puck in the neutral zone. They break it up, and now the Bruins get it back. He controls the puck in the neutral zone. This is a decent takeout. Remember, he's not trying to hurt his opponent. He just wants to eliminate him from the play. It's taken across the red line by Ladd. Bob, it looks like he got all of that slap shot. Still a right pad save. An underrated save by the goaltender. And Boston breakaway chance. You have to get the puck in the air on a breakaway. He did not on that one. As a result, a good left pad save by the goalie. Oh, and Graham with a blocker save in that butterfly, and he got the blocker on it. The puck has hit up the boards on the left side. Ladd has it now, and he's across center ice. Here they come, and it's 3-0. He gets body check. A little off balance. Genov through the zone, under a minute to go in the period. Down in the corner, Murray to Zemnov. The goal stick to the rescue, knocks that away. And now Carolina into the zone, and this hockey game is over. Our final score, 8-4. to four.